There's just been some really good news from the EIA in the United States. The EIA says that solar plus storage, uh, their deployment has soared as fossil fuels are stalling. And apparently, solar and batteries are being installed at a, the fastest pace we've seen all year. But unfortunately, well, that's good news. The truth is that $28.7 billion of US EV renewable energy projects have been wiped out this year. $28.7 billion. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Businesses cancelled. And we know that businesses have basically ceased to exist, gone bankrupt, closed, scaled back. EB plans have been cancelled for many companies. More than $4.4 in major factory and clean energy projects from late September through October um, have been cancelled. That means that so far this year, $28.7 billion has been removed from the plants, projects, everything that's been happening in the US. So it's a big difference with the Trump administration. Nearly 9,000 current and future jobs were impacted last month, bringing the total number of job losses tied to abandoned projects this year to 30,000. E2 says nine battery, storage, solar, and EV factory projects were dropped or downsized in October across California, Michigan, Mississippi, and Ohio. Just one new large-scale project was announced in the same period, the lowest monthly total since E2 began tracking this data in August of 2022. This was when the Inflation Reduction Act was passed under the Biden administration, and when things started to really boom in terms of American manufacturing. So far in 2025, cancellations are outpacing new clean energy investments nearly two to one. Two to one cancellations. Companies have announced $11 billion tied to new projects and about 17,000 jobs compared to the $28.7 billion and almost 30,000 jobs lost from abandoned ones. So yeah, the good news is $11 billion has gone into new projects, but cancels out $28.7 billion being removed. Republican-held congressional districts continue to bear the brunt of their own policies, says Electric, with $17 billion in cancelled investments and nearly 22,000 jobs, compared to $9.9 billion and 13,000 jobs in Democratic districts. Now, personally, um, I don't know about the politics involved in that. That could be both sides. Clearly, it clearly is both sides of the aisle, unfortunately. Michael Timberlake, E2's Director of Research and Publications, said the wave of abandoned renewable projects in 2025 reflects heightened uncertainty among manufacturers and investors about the long-term US policy landscape. Now, the truth is, it's a very sugar-coated way of saying it. Some companies aren't just um, heightened uncertainty. They've literally gone bankrupt because the money that they were using was coming from the government and the government had promised them that money and that money had been has now been cancelled, so they had no choice but to close. Many companies had already started construction, hiring, or major capital spending, he said, before reversing course, leaving communities with fewer jobs, weakened tax bases, and stalled industrial expansion plans. E2's latest numbers show that new investments are not keeping pace. EOS Energy Storage's $252 million plan to relocate its headquarters to Pittsburgh and expand battery manufacturing pushed total tracked investments since August 2022 to $132 billion, a drop of more than $2 billion from last month. Overall, new investment levels have remained flat for the past year, hovering just over $130 billion. Now, the majority of that obviously has come from uh, the previous administration, though. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I personally think Donald Trump is pushing America, I wouldn't say into the dark ages, but sort of in, in that sense, in terms of it's certainly falling behind other industrialized nations. And, and China is just, it's going further and further in front of the United States. The United States is saying, well, the way we do things here is now by using gas and coal and um, gasoline, and that's the solution to our energy needs. That's the solution to our AI data centers. But clearly it's not. Clearly that, that we have the technology now that can make... We, I mean, for example, the reason Catal and BYD have started investing so much money into sodium batteries is, is probably because of the US co company that did it, that actually started massively building them out. And they're kind of... China's gone, well, okay, the US is doing this. We better do this. 
So this is the kind of thing that I think the America needs to say, well, hang on a minute. We've got companies that can innovate. We've got smart people here. We've got in- entrepreneurs that can do some amazing work in America and Dallas, no doubt. But unfortunately, because of these cancellations, uh, the Trump administration is clearly not supporting renewables. It has meant that there is not a lot of confidence now coming from a lot of these entrepreneurs. They see what they're doing as being discouraged by the Trump administration. So far this year, renewable energy has generated more power than coal globally. Please share this video with someone who needs to know. Coal use is declining. Regardless of anything the media says, renewables are now, for the first time in history, ahead of coal power. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. This is really an important, incredibly important news, incredibly important situation here because the world is pivoting. We are changing. We are dumping coal. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Solar and wind aren't just keeping up with global electricity demand anymore. They are actually ahead. And new analysis from Ember says that solar and wind combined outpaced global electricity demand growth in the first half of 2025. And this means that coal and gas generation have both fallen compared to the same time last year. For the first time ever, renewable energy has beaten coal globally. We're seeing the first signs of a crucial turning point, said Melgazada Weatris Matika, Senior Electricity Analyst at Ember. Solar and wind are now growing fast enough to meet the world's growing appetite for electricity. This marks the beginning of a new shift where clean power is keeping pace with demand growth. Global electricity demand rose 2.6% in the first half of 2025. That was an additional 369 terawatt hours year over year. Solar met a stunning 83% of that increase, growing by 306 terawatt hours or 31% year over year. Combined with wind, renewables were able to meet rising demand and start displacing fossil fuels. And you're going to find probably over the next 12 months, this acceleration will speed up because in places like the United States, Chile, Australia, Europe, even China, a lot of the renewable energy we generate is not being used. It's being dumped. It's being curtailed. It's a nice word to use, isn't it? But literally hundreds of billions of dollars worth of renewable energy is being wasted every year. Fortunately, though, the rise in more affordable energy storage, and I'm saying massively more affordable because new sodium-ion batteries are coming, plus, of course, lithium-ion phosphate battery prices continuing to fall, 